Heyo, my fellow space explorers. Development update 10 is here from Hello Games, and I think you're gonna like it. Development update 10. Hello, everyone. It's already been a very busy month for us. Today, we are releasing a new update for No Man's Sky, which includes a new community research mission, more customizable flora for your base, a terrarium, a striking new Gek-inspired helmet, oh, and a number of minor gameplay fixes and improvements. More on that below. You may have also heard that last week we announced The Last Campfire, an adventure about a search for meaning and a way home, developed by a tiny subset of our small team. We're yet to announce platforms, but the game is available to wishlist on Steam now. Yeah, and it looks awesome. Community research update. Earlier this month, many thousands of specialists, polos, friends worked together across multiple realities to contribute floral discoveries to a mass data pool. Biological information about alien plants was funneled into a space anomaly and ultimately into the Quicksilver Synthesis Bot, where the data was processed into gathering additional items to reward dedicated researchers. While Polo has concluded that their current investigations into the changes rippling through the universe, this boundary-defined data has had another unexpected result. Polo's synthesis companion inhabiting the back room of the space anomaly has autonomously tapped into the broadcast system. Independently of their GEC master, they are reaching out for explorers to carry on expanding the anomaly's data banks with new research data via the variety of means. Participants may choose to collect rare materials, explore the universe, or eliminate threats. Oh, that's cool. As before, universal progress may be tracked from the Galactic Atlas website, and submitted data will be, uh, sorry, will power the synthesis of further collectible items. From the Quicksilver Synthesis Bot, Tier 1 items, three customizable base plants, will unlock after Tier 1. Ooh, nice. Tier 2 item. The Terrarium is a small observatory unit designed to house a small alien specimen for study and companionship. Oh, wow! Specimen is included with... Do, what is this? Dom domicile? Domicile? To avoid undesirable specimen-to-specimen -specimen interactions, a limit of one Terrarium per base is recommended. Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, wow. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, I might have to go back to playing as a Gek. Look at that. The helmet of the first spawn, inspired and formed by the war helms of ancient Gek, lends a battle-hardened appearance to anomaly explorers. Oh, wow. Oh, it's for anomalies. Oh, crazy. Community Spotlight. We love these screenshots. Uh, from Brain Evacuated, Outsider underscore one, uh, no derpsy, <laughs> and Suspiria72. And his creative base uh, placement by Postman Tom. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, very Tim Burton-esque. <laughs> That's awesome. He built that around around that thing. Uh, a couple of Irish folk has been busy creeping more, all oh, creating more wallpapers. Right on. Development update. The patch notes for 1.77 are below with these fixes releasing for all platforms today. Thanks for reading all these updates. We hope you've been enjoying the increased communication and update frequency over the past six months. Absolutely. Uh, there is still so much more to come in the new year with a large portion of our team working towards further major updates for No Man's Sky. Further major updates, ah, plural, for No Man's Sky. Yes. We look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks so much, Sean. Thank you so much, Sean. And hello, games. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, uh, for full list of patch notes, as always, link below. Thanks for watching.